Hi guys, so this is my um, second time recording this video as the last time the audio uh, was clearly broken. Um, probably, so I actually have any speakers on this PC, so I didn't check it before I put it out, I just thought it'd be okay. Uh, it was a new mic, um, or a different mic anyway, than the one I usually use. Anyway, so SX Save Manager has been updated to version 1.1, .1. so as you can see up here, 1.1. Um, and with it, it's basically uh, a lot of fixes. So it looks like they probably um, rushed the first version, and there's a lot of little fixes here. Um, some new features, I guess you can call them features, but really they should have been there originally. So um, I actually haven't used this SX Save Manager um, yet, as I still trust the Homebrew version I, I used. I cannot remember, for the love of me, what version I used. Um, but there's a Save Manager on Homebrew that is a little bit better than this one at the moment. It's been around for a year or so. Um, I've used it for uh, managing a couple of saves, and I think ultimately um, it, it just works better for until this one is up and running. I will be switching over to SX um, just because I think SX having all the same app or um, same uh, ver uh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for um, all the same um, the exactly the same product so SX Save Manager, Installer, Dumper, um, all these things that are managed by SX. I think it'll be better to have them all the same just for uh, ease of use, getting used to uh, what buttons do things and and so forth. Um, also the way it looks. But anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to read through a change log. Um, I apologise, I'm not, I haven't used this uh, system yet, so I just don't, clearly I, it wasn't ready yet. And um, I also, there's a few things here I just do not understand um, that I'm not, uh, I don't understand what it means and there's features I, I don't, I'm not educated on. So I'm going to read through it and I will tell you if I don't understand something. But top one is fix two simple but easy to miss bugs which cause many users to crash if they had over 30 titles or corrupt games installed. So I imagine if you're using SX you probably have quite a lot of games installed. Don't know if I've quite hit the 30 mark on mine but I'm probably near it uh, and what it meant is if you had more than 30 games it just didn't work, it just crashed. Um, obviously not good when you're trying to manage a lot of games which is what SX is designed for so you can back up all your games and run them at the same time. And if you've got corrupt games installed, that does happen uh, where games get corrupt when a new version of uh, Nintendo's uh, firmware comes out and your old game isn't been, now is not compatible with it or your backup isn't compatible, um, it can become corrupt. These are two things that clearly cause it to crash and I imagine happens to a lot of people. Added in a settings menu, so I don't know why they wouldn't have had settings in uh, before. I'm sure even no matter how easy an app to use is, you always need settings to be able to um, change it to how it suits you. Add an added option to hide device save. So imagine this is um, a different type of save or a save that is already on your device. It's not one that you've created a backup of yourself. So imagine there is device saves for everyone and then you can have your backups as an additional to the device save already. Um, this would be quite useful if you hide them then that way you know you've got a backup of every game you've got because if it's showing a device one you might not back that up yet and it's still on a device and you think oh I've got that backed up. Anyway, good feature to have. Added support for BCAT data. So I didn't know what BCAT data is, I still don't really. Um, there's a little bit more further on down this post so I'll tell you a bit more about BCAT data in a minute. Obviously it adds support for it. Changed export or import text to backup or restore to avoid confusion. This I said in my last video why is it not back up and restore export and import easily confused especially if English isn't your first language um, but even to someone like me back up and restore is a much better clearer option to have I'm glad they've done that added fast scrolling using the left analog stick so obviously if you're using the d-pad you're going to go one by one uh, now you can use your left analog stick to quickly scroll through all your titles obviously if you've got more than 30 it's going to be a good thing to scroll quickly Sort mode is now saved instead of default and on launch. Um, so I imagine it should just uh, uh, it sorts it by the most recent saved one at the top. Um, it doesn't really say, um, but that's good. It is a new sort feature that you can have. Hopefully, you might be able to change that sort anyway. The UI's game name text now includes a save type for all types. So um, the the text that comes on, it'll, there's three different types of save um, uh, indicated down the bottom, which I'll get to in just a minute. Um, so now 
uh, you're going to be able to see which type of save it is for each game um, in the file name. Uh, SX Save Manager is now hidden in the list. So across here, these are all your installed games. Um, I imagine SX Save Manager being an NSP that you installed was showing here. So now it doesn't, which is obviously doesn't need to be there. So that's a welcome feature. This one I do not understand. Uh, removed trip, uh, quadruple eight DNS override. This app only not system wide to increase compatibility. Not sure what it means, but obviously need to be done and increase the compatibility. Um, if you know what this means and it's sorted out for you, please um, comment in below so other people do know as well. Unfortunately, I can't uh, provide any more information on that. Added option to back up all data to SD card. Great. You should always be able to back up your SD, uh, all your data to SD card because uh, switches can crash uh, with an SD card. You can copy it up to multiple hard drives, the cloud, whatever you want to do. Uh, means that you can safely back up your data um, and this way you can back it all up um, which is great um, welcome feature added option to use custom file names of course um, computers can create massive file names especially if a game is quite a long-winded uh, title you can now abbreviate it down and get rid of that title id if you don't want it and let's have it as mario save instead of uh, the long name and then the title id and the save type and that so that's a welcome addition and uh, many small improvements to increase stability obviously Every update, hopefully it does bring stability with it and the uh, little hitches that are in the code, they managed to get rid of or fix little things. So that's welcome. So here it has, it says, additionally, some users were confused by the different types of saves. Here is a brief explanation. So I have not used this and the save manager I've used only has one type. So this has got three types here and I'm hoping I'm not wrong in what I say here. A user specific save is a save file that belongs to a user. That save is loaded when the game is launched by that user. So when you launch a game, if you've got multiple um, users, so say user 1, 2, 3 and 4, when you launch user 1, they'll have their save file boot up, you then close the game down, load it up and your user 2, it could be someone else, a completely different point in the game. Um, so that is a user one, that is designed to the user which you create in the settings menu. And then a common user save, also known as a device save, is a save that doesn't belong to a user. These saves are used by all users. For example, a common user save is Animal Crossing, where all players on a single switch, sh sh switch share one island. So some games clearly um, have the ability to access this one uh, bit of data which is shared between all of the users on the on the single switch and then that is what this type of save is um, I don't know many games that uh, has this sort of feature but Animal Crossing clearly does as it is named here and BCAP data is data used by Nintendo to add new content to games without releasing a full update for example Animal Crossing uses it to add events without releasing a full update so Obviously, if an event is going to be an online thing, so you just go boot in and it downloads a small bit of data instead of a full update, which you then need to close the game down and install. Uh, just quickly um, add that bit of data, which then you can access. It's probably already hidden in a previous update anyway, um, or it's just a small bit of data that yeah, needs to be downloaded. I'm not entirely sure how it works, but I imagine that is what it's for. Same probably goes for stuff like Fortnite, where they release a new weapon or something like that, and you can just play the game with the new weapon without having to download the whole update. I'm not entirely sure if that's how it works, but that's what that uh, screams to me. Anyway, guys, that is uh, say SX Save Manager 1.1. Hopefully, if you are using this and you have any issues, this might fix it, um, or this might encourage you to give this a go and um, see if this is for you. But it could be, um, hopefully, edging towards a new Save Manager, which overrides uh, my previous one, and I can then start using this for uh, managing my saves. Mine's more so like I like to back them all up, especially um, in games I've played a lot of. Uh, for example, Pokemon, you can back it up and you can start a new one if you want and then go back to your original save if you wanted to. Um, or it's one of these games that you spend like 100 hours playing. Uh, you might want to restart Zelda and you don't want to lose your previous save. And then this is definitely for you. Um, I know people who um, edited Pokemon saves to add new Pokemon to their game. But um, anyway, hopefully this is... Um, brought out the news to you and you're happy with this and hopefully the audio on this one is a lot better than the last one anyway guys i really appreciate you uh, standing by and uh, giving us another go anyway thank you